about this. Um, what I have posted here, I've already said this before, this is just the beginner method and it could work with that, but you could have adverse effect. I did have someone say they did have something like that where they're trying to close their account, but they didn't send a cover letter. So usually you do have to send instructions and that is in the cover letter saying what you want done here. So that is definitely part of this process. That's why I say you do have to have a certain character if you want to do this because it is a legal process. So if you've ever done anything legal, you know that first you get a notice and then you have to respond to it and then you get another notice and then you, like if you go to court, you, you just don't, things happen. There's, there's a process to it. So sometimes it can get resolved right away. They'll discharge it right away. And sometimes, like I was saying, you have to do the administrative process. So I don't have that information up there. I did give the information of the group where I got this information and they were giving, they were having calls. They do have a, like a consultation call you can pay for if you want to get that, you know, have a consultation call with somebody so they can help you through it if you want to learn it really bad. But, um, in the cover letter, you probably want to say, oh, it does say that in the cover letter that I mentioned for this class, it does say not to close the account. It does say to do all that stuff. But if you don't request it, um, then yeah, that could probably happen. It That has not happened to me, so I, don't, I haven't had that experience. Um, what has happened is I have had some success. Like I said, I've had some success, and that's why I shared it. And then the rest, I kind of was like, I didn't have anything bad happen, but I just, it just didn't go anywhere. So then I found out you have to continue to do the administrative process, which I have not posted that information yet. But it's basically a conditional acceptance or an affidavit next. Then after that, if they don't respond within 20 or 10 days, whatever you put in the letter that you want them to respond it to, then you send a notice of default and an opportunity to cure. And this has to be notarized or notary witness, they recommend. And then after that is the, if they still don't respond, which a lot of times they don't, or they could try to do something to your account. So I would definitely put in there the laws. One of them is called adverse action. Um, they're not supposed to take adverse action against you, and that's in the UCC. They're not supposed to deny you credit, basically. So you'd have to look that up in the UCC code. That's why I was saying I don't have that information up here, but I am sharing with you if you want to go find that on your own, you can try to do that. And like I was saying, I'm just learning this and sharing it. Most people do charge hundreds or thousands of dollars, or there is free information out there. So you can either pay or try to find it free. I'm only going to post things that I have personal success with. And when I don't, I'm also saying, look, I got, I had some success and then the other ones did get stuck and they didn't get a response. So I found out the next thing you have to do is the private administrative process. So like I said, it's the conditional acceptance, affidavit, notice of default opportunity to cure. And the last one is they still don't answer at the end it's notice of default so then you have them in default and you can get a default judgment it's good at least on the last two to get a notary witness and you have to look that up to see what that is sometimes it's just them allowing you to take a picture of their log um, and, um, and in the conditional acceptance I used 
I had a thing where I had the attorney generals as my witness. I'm currently had some success and then I'm doing the administrative process on like two places and um, that could take a few months so I recommend continuing to pay your bills if you can. If for some reason you can't and it goes to collections well then there's a lot of free information out there too on how to get that re removed off your collections. You do not have to wait seven years. You can dispute it. Um, I haven't covered all that. I have done some of those things myself and I had success. I just haven't posted it. I'm just posting what I can. You know, I'm not really charging a lot for this. Most people do charge like five, 300, 500, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000. Those are the prices I've seen. I have seen some people share it for free, or I have seen some people share it for like $40 or stuff like that. So you do have to look around. Like I said, I'm, I'm just learning this and I'm just sharing what I have success with. Also, people do do it different ways. So if you've heard of a different way that it's done, that's fine. You can do it your the whichever way you would like. There's no like right or wrong, really. Um, I've seen people do it many different ways and have success. So there is no one right way to do it. But there is like a standard understanding of the system. You do have to use the laws and you have to do the letters and you do have to do like a notary or fingerprint, certain, certain things. So, and nobody's telling you you have to do this. This is only if you want to try to do it yourself and try to learn it. It's up to you if you want to do it. You don't have to do it. You can stop at any moment. Um, but if you do want to do it, some people are very good at it. They continue learning and they're very good at it. And others aren't very good at it and they don't have success because they just don't know how to apply it well. So that's why they recommend learning. And until you feel comfortable doing it, then you execute. But if you try it and it doesn't work out for you, you know, you may have to keep learning or you might have to get a mentor. I'm just trying, I was just saying there was a lot of people that didn't understand and I did understand the concepts. So I just decided to post it. That's all I'm doing. I'm not saying I'm a guru or I know what everything. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I've had some success and I'm sharing that with you. What you do with that is up to you. You can do what you can try it or you don't have to try it. You can just keep learning. It's basically up to you. Nobody's forcing you to do anything. And um, I understand people say different things because they've tried different things and they've had success with it. So that doesn't mean they're wrong or I'm right or anything like that. Some people I have heard do share disinformation. I mean, I don't really know what exactly that is, but because um, I haven't actually seen anyone really uh, get in trouble, really. I mean, I think people do have gotten in trouble for, you know, just their behavior mostly. You know, but if you're trying to do everything correctly, um, you do have to. What happens is when you get pushback, a lot of people just run away because they get scared and they don't continue to try to either talk to the company or negotiate or stuff like that. And that's something that I've always done. So that's maybe why I've had success. Some people just think it's. You know, you fill this out and it's automatic. No, it's not like that. It is legal stuff and you're learning how to operate in the laws and how to apply them and how to counteract. And I'm just sharing this, so that's it. And I'm letting you know this is not the full process. It can immediately work if you apply it right, or it might not. You might have to do more. So that's just what I want people to understand, that you, 
you don't have to try it right away if you don't want to, but if you want to and you don't mind going through a few things to learn how to do it, then that's up to you. You know, that, that might mean like the company might restrict your account or stuff like that. You could always call them and ask them to fix it. You know, you have to negotiate or you can always write to them with the laws saying you, you shouldn't be doing that. But you have to look it up. It's the UCC code. It's the Fair Credit Reporting Act. It's the FTC. Um, that's where I'm learning most of this stuff. And also a lot of other people do share the information. You can watch their videos, learn it through them. You can pay for it. It is out there free too on social media. You know, but it is something people spend like five, ten years learning this. So if it's something that you are passionate about and you're willing to go through the ups and downs, then, you know, go ahead and try it. But if you're not, then maybe it's not something you should do right now until you feel comfortable with it. Thanks.